my channel so I've been thinking a lot about this next topic that I want to share with you guys most of the time when I film it's you know the highlights it's the things that I'm really excited about fun moments that I want to remember and you know things I'm learning about and stuff like that and for the most part it is you know good things but I also have moments where I feel down where things are definitely not going my way where I wish things were different you know I really have to motivate myself sometimes and I've been coming back to this thought this idea that is really helping me that I want to share with you guys. Let's sit down and get cozy. So right now as I am filming this we are in the middle of February. It's really cold outside. It rains a lot. Spring is almost around the corner. We're not quite there yet so nature is still resting there's no greenery outside and usually this time of year we will go on a trip so last year we went to the maldives the year before that we were in dubai and it's a little tradition of ours that we usually go away the week of valentine's day soaking up some sunshine getting some vitamin d having good quality time together just taking some time off but we are not doing that this year we are investing that into another part of our life you know we had to make that financial decision like we couldn't do both but it is the first year that we have not gone away on a family trip getting some sunshine in the middle of winter and Mo and I have been talking a lot about this like we need to bring the vacation vibes and that vacation energy to us to our home and furthermore like really learn how to romanticize our life and the little things that we can be so grateful for and that we can make more fun and make more special. And I think that finding the joy and the love and the happiness in the small moments, in your little routines is so powerful. And that's what I wanna focus this video on today. Really sharing my mindset, my routines, little habits that really fill my cup during this time of year that I personally feel is not the most enjoyable in terms of weather and all of that. I do have my little things that I love. I will link that video down below. It was a few vlogs back where I shared the things that I love most about winter, but I'm so excited for spring and to see nature blooming again and to have it be a little bit warmer, not so rainy, not so windy. I love being outside so the outside elements really rub off on me and having this mindset is a huge goal and focus in my life because all of our life how we interpret and see our life it all stems from how healthy and abundant our mindset is I saw a quote the other day that I feel sums this up perfectly it goes the world around you is beautiful when the world within you is peaceful if any of you are seeking support with your goals or you also want to learn how to adopt a healthier mindset, I want to share the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. I'm personally such a huge fan of therapy. It has helped me so much. I love speaking to professionals who are trained, educated, and genuinely passionate about giving helpful and unbiased advice. I'm a person who thinks a lot and I need to express myself, whether that's with myself like journaling or by talking to somebody and BetterHelp makes starting therapy a lot less intimidating for a lot of people. BetterHelp lets you have your therapy sessions either as phone calls, as video chats, or even via messaging. Whatever form of therapy is the most comfortable for you and BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a much wider range of expertise than might be available in your city. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire that will ask you what kind of challenges you're going through, what kind of therapist you'd like, and then BetterHelp will match you to a therapist that can help you. You'll be matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours, and then you can schedule a time that's convenient for you. And if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, BetterHelp makes it really easy to switch to another one. And I love this feature. It's so important to have a good connection with your therapist, and BetterHelp makes 
makes it really easy and this is at no additional cost so I love that they offer that feature. If you guys are interested in therapy I would highly recommend checking out BetterHelp. You can use my link betterhelp.com forward slash Jeffrey to get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. I will have the link down below for you guys in the description box. Again it is betterhelp.com forward slash Jeffrey and that will get you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. So when I think about the habits that calm me and how to just increase the quality of life definitely being and living in a space that is clean and clutter free and organized makes me so happy and it's just so great for my mind i am a mom i have a toddler and that's not always possible so i do my best to just speed clean a few times a day like mostly this area right here this is where she has all of her toys and it is in our living room which i love for the fact that i can be in the kitchen which is right behind you guys and i can see her here she can see me but on the other hand it is here in the center so i do like to keep it clean and just do like a little speed clean for my own sanity and just for you know having things look a little bit more nice and manageable and fresh and clean moms who know you know <laughs> Gonna hug the tree. Yeah. You love the tree. Yeah. Oh, mommy too. So we are out on a walk right now. I have Nelly here with me, and she loves to stop and say hi to the trees. Like literally, she will come to the tree. She'll put her hand on it. She'll give it a hug. It's the cutest thing. It is a beautiful day today. We don't have this kind of weather every day, so when it's sunny like this, it is just. Uh -huh amazing i mentioned in my last video that i am back to getting in my 10k steps today which feels so good it's such a nice challenge for myself yeah i try to get between seven to ten thousand a day sometimes it's a little bit more sometimes it's a little bit less it really depends but just getting out into nature is something that really calms me and makes me so happy it's so easy especially during the winter time <laughs> to just stay at home because it's obviously colder also if you're just like generally not feeling that energized or <coughs> motivated bless you baby sometimes you have to create your own energy like you need to move your body to make energy hi. like a powerhouse hi hi beautiful walking walking yeah you walking on the tree yeah you love the trees huh Kick the ball. Yeah, let's go kick the ball. So we're gonna go to a playground and get a few more steps in. See, you got a stick. This is a really big stick, huh? Hi! <laughs> Our. Yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. So pretty, the flowers. So pretty. having a little self-care evening we have some tea and we're gonna do our mask this is the clarify and brighten face mask the og and we have a freshly baked 
berry crumble that smells so good. But we always look forward for the berry crumble. Mo really likes it, and Nalia even had it. Once per week we get that crumble. It's either a crumble or it's ice cream. We've been doing this like tradition on the weekends where we will have some like fun treat. I kind of sometimes I mix the crumble. I put some nuts on top or I put some berries on top or I mix it with like, I don't know, milk rice or anything like that. We're looking forward to the weekend knowing that there's going to be a crumble, there's going to be some movies, there's going to be some me time, your kind of weekend vacation, you know what I mean? Yeah. We just started watching the new season of Love is Blind. It's season like six now or so. Last week we watched the Elvis Presley movie that actually came out like I think over a year ago, but we were completely unaware of it. But wow, so, so good. The acting was incredible. The performance, the dancing, he even sings. It was incredible and I would highly, highly recommend. I love this mask. It just, it tingles a little bit. You can feel it working. Great for exfoliating. We do this once a week. You put it on three minutes, doesn't even take long. It oh. feels like my skin got a renewal. Kind of like going to get a facial. Yeah, that's why like, we say it's a facial in a bottle. It has literally so many benefits. There's yeah, so many good the ingredients. The ingredient in list is like amazing. Great for helping to prevent fine lines, wrinkles, breakouts. I do have a code for my audience. Any 15 that will get you 15% off site wide. You can use it towards the mask as well, our cleanser, moisturizer. Okay, here is the berry crumble. The ingredients in this are so good. They're so healthy. It's just berries. This is made with oats, a little coconut oil, maple syrup, lots of cinnamon. So, so good. yogurt chia pudding to have with my eggs in the morning. Nelly and I share this and it's so good. It's packed with of course healthy fiber from the chia seeds, good omegas and I really love it. So I do two tablespoons of chia seeds and about a fourth of a cup of water. Give it a little mix and then the chia seeds are going to soak up the water. They're going to start to expand. It will just take a few minutes and then I'm going to mix it again and then add the yogurt. The seeds are starting to expand. Okay, then I'm gonna add in this yogurt. This has almost six grams of protein for 100 grams. So it's really rich, almost as much as an egg. So I do about 200 grams of this. It's like two servings. And then I just mix that together. And I add some frozen wild blueberries. These are gonna warm up and infuse the yogurt with a really nice flavor. And the chia seeds are gonna continue expanding a little bit. So this is what I've been having on the side of my eggs and I love it. Prepare. Wait. Egg. What do you want to do, Nadia? Big egg. I want one. What do you want to do with the eggs? Big egg. Huh? Big. Okay, but what do you want to do with the egg? You want to crack the egg? Okay. Crack the egg? Yeah. Alright. So. Chicken. Huh? Onion. Yeah, that's onions, correct? So then let's crack the eggs. Okay, we start. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> okay, so now take the egg and now softly put your arms up. Hold softly, 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 soft. So no, 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 softly. Not so hard. Soft. Okay. One, two. Good job, Melia. You cracked the egg. Wow. Okay. You want to crack another egg? Okay. Okay, hold it. 
softly. <laughs> yeah. More. No, like two eggs are enough. <laughs> Okay, one last one, okay? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Wait for daddy, I'm not done yet. Okay. You wanna crack it? No, no, oh no, only one, only one. Okay, one, two. Whoa. Cut it We cracked the eggs, guys. We did it. Good job. High five. Good job, Nalia. Thank you very much for helping me. And what else did we do? What is this? Juice. Juice. We did orange juice. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so cool. Daddy kisses. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I'm in the car now, I'm about to head into the grocery store. There are a few things that really help me to manage my stress. And you know, one of the biggest things is routines. Having good routines in place that take out so much of the mental thought process for me that allows me to make less decisions during the day. Cause I know there are certain things that I do during my day, during my week that support me mentally emotionally physically and these are things that are reoccurring it's not something that i need to really think about but it really is game changing when you have certain good routines and habits in place that you can just count on that will make you feel great this is sort of top of mind for me right now because i did my body pump my strength training class this morning i only go twice a week it's not a huge amount but for me it's perfect and it's just what I need right now in this season of my life and then as you guys know I do my daily walks and I love having those things that are just structured for me in my week and I don't have to think about like what am I going to do today should I do this should I do that this is just an example of course but it is the idea and that structuring of your day and of your week that you know you have certain things that you can depend on it's a little bit of investing in organizing yourself your schedule but it gives you so much time back and so much mental freedom when you don't have to make a thousand decisions during the day when things are more streamlined and simple and things are running much more like clockwork and not you know having to like frantically decide what you're doing that day and it takes a little bit of planning i think it's so powerful to review your day the night before so you know what's coming especially if you have a lot of things going on as well maybe you're also a mom you work full time like you are somebody who enjoys prioritizing taking care of themselves and you want to feel good in your body like it's a lot and i think it's so important to put up these certain routines and things that you just know that you do daily weekly write them down put them in your calendar you can depend on those you can lean on those and you don't have to make so many decisions for me that is huge especially right now in this season of my life this is what we're having for dinner tonight looks so yummy some rice with homemade meatballs a little salad cucumber cherry tomatoes simple but so yummy this is nelia's plate i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching we're actually having mo's mom come over in a few days which i'm really excited about even if you can't always get away and you know go somewhere just having family over friends come to visit that really does switch things up and it's so much fun she always cooks such amazing food and i'm excited for her to be with nalia and on the note of switching things up as well in like the theme of this video what we've been doing as well is we've been going out to eat once a week like on the weekend we'll go we'll try something new and beyond that as well something i've been really mindful of especially lately is just really being appreciative of the small tiny moments in life like really soaking them in seeing beautiful sunrises or that first sip of matcha in the morning is so good or when Nalia will do something so sweet or she'll just 
like look at me in a certain way or of food you know simple simple things we can be so grateful for and i think it's really important to remember those and appreciate those and really soak them up and feel them in your body and with that as well if i am feeling anxious or down just reframing the situation just finding the positive and the good thing in that moment and there's always something to be grateful for just being mindful and naming three things in that moment for example that you're grateful for can totally switch the situation around i would love to hear from you what are your favorite things that you do that really calm you if you are feeling anxious stressed if you're also sensitive to seasonal changes like the winter time when it's dark cold what are little things that you do that really pick you up and that make you feel great i would love to know down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one Bye guys